bird is delivering a message or an animal, they make sound, certain sound that we hear. In other words, when a person is going to pass away, the birds or the animals come by and they mention it. But they never, how, how would we know who? We never know who. But they seem to travel and tell us. I know, because I hear it. But there's others around there that uh, I'm just waiting for somebody else to speak up. Then I know who. One I heard was a fox, and my mother was the one that spoke up. Ah, she chewed it. They couldn't say that we're somebody that we don't want to go or something, you know. And years later I heard it again, this time. Well, but this time I found out it was my mother's father that uh, was going to pass away. And ever, ever since then, whenever I hear that fox, it's the same sound. But I just sit there. I'm waiting for a response from somebody. Ah, what's that? Two, two. Did they did that? What is it? What's making that sound? Neko. Fox. Neko. Even, even the Navajo say that. La prima parola che mi viene in mente pensando all'Alaska è sorprendente. Quando meno te l'aspetti, succede qualcosa di unico. La seconda parola che mi viene in mente è morte. Che qui più che in altre parti del mondo senti fare a pugni con la vita. Nell'atrato dei cani da slitta, nell'impertinenza dei corvi, nelle sculture dei nativi e soprattutto nell'opprimente vastità degli spazi.